Austin PD says on Sunday at around 2.30 in the morning, officers were flagged down at the corner of 6th and Brazos. They found 27-year-old DeAndre Isaiah Day lying on the ground with life-threatening stab wounds. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. The video shows Day in a white shirt with a friend. It appears they got into a verbal altercation that turned into a physical one with three people. Officers say one of the three unidentified men stabbed Day. APD says the suspect's car is an older model Honda Accord. This is the 53rd homicide being investigated in Austin this year. In a statement, the Downtown Austin Alliance says in part, we recognize that Austin, like other major cities, has experienced an increase in certain types of violent crime. Even so, Austin consistently ranks among the safest large cities in the country. This unfortunate incident occurred at a time of day and day of the week when violent crimes downtown, though few, are most likely to occur on weekends between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Diana um, Tehan says she's lived in several large metropolitan areas around the country. I've seen, like, living in those types of areas, how crime can be, and then um, how it, also it doesn't have to be. In a statement, the Austin Police Association says the need for patrol officers in Austin is showing itself more and more every day. We just need more of them to help combat violent crime, to combat property crime, and to reduce the number of traffic fatalities in our great city. APD is currently down more than 400 officers. Tian says she doesn't think the city has enough oversight, not just by law enforcement, but by citizens too. People not policing themselves, I think, plays a really, really big part in it. Um, we are, we're not a, being adults, and then our children see it, and our children think that it's okay to behave that way.